Hi there, welcome to the video. We'll be creating this animation between two text states inside of Flutter. As always, you can get the code for this project over at developer.school and read the text version of this video. So to get started, make sure you've created a new Flutter project or simply use this inside of your own project. I'm going to call this animated text. We're going to CD into that and then we'll open this up inside of VS Code. So let's just take a look at our project so far. We've got a brand new Flutter application. We are then returning a material app, which has the home of a home page. And once again, you can see this inside of the article, which we are simply just having a home page state that returns us a centered container with a column. And right now inside of the column, we simply just have a text of animate me. We've created this Boolean which is called is selected. And we're going to be using this Boolean to determine whether we should show that animation. So essentially, when it comes to animating the text, we want to first check the Boolean to see if the animation should play. And then if the animation is true, as an example, it would then play a particular text style over a duration. And then if that's false, it should switch to another text style over that same duration. So let's put this into practice with something called an animated default text style. So what we'll do is we'll hit command dot on this text. We'll say wrap with a new widget. The widget is going to be an animated text. Oh, sorry, animated default text style. And then inside of this animated default text style, we want a duration, and that's going to be the duration of the animation. We'll make that a constant of duration, and we'll set milliseconds 200. So this will be 200 ms. We'll then say style. Now this would be the style that we want to animate between. We'll check it to see whether we are selected. So we'll have that is selected. If we are selected, or that's equal to true, we'll say text style. We can change some things here, like the font size to be 50. We can have the color to maybe colors.red. We could also change things like the font weight, such as the font weight dot bold. And then after that, we can copy this text style. And we can say we want maybe 24 colors dot black for the sort of default state. And then maybe we'll have a weight of 100. So that's good. We can now save and we see that we have this sort of a text size of 24. And that's because we are false right now. If we hit true and then save the file, we should then be able to see that this changes to our red text. But because the state hasn't necessarily changed using something like set state, uh, it just renders that animated style, which of course at this point in time would either be the selected state or the unselected state. Let's create ourselves a button or some other way to change that variable. So we'll have a flat button. The flat button will have the child of text, click me, and an unpressed, which is simply going to be a set state call. And inside of set state, we'll say is selected equals the opposite of is selected. Once we now save and click me, we should be able to see that the text animates between the two states. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, let me know inside of the comments section below what you think. And of course, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more content. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the comments.